Congratulations on purchasing your new grill, and welcome to the Next Grill family. Before we begin assembling your six burner deluxe gas grill with searing side burner and rotisserie burner, reference your owner's manual to make sure all of the grill parts are accounted for. Note that you'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver and an adjustable wrench to complete the assembly. If you have any questions or concerns during the assembly process, please call the customer service line on your screen. Let's do this. We'll start by attaching your grill's four casters to the bottom panel. On this grill, you should have two stationary casters, one swivel caster, and one swivel caster with a brake. With the bottom panel flipped upside down, the two stationary casters should be positioned on the right side of the panel, while the swivel caster with a brake should be positioned on the bottom left corner. Secure each caster using four A screws apiece. Once all four casters are secure, flip the bottom panel right side up and mount the door iron piece by loosening the two pre-assembled screws on the bottom panel. Slide the piece into place, then reinstall the screws. Next we'll attach the side panels. Start by loosening the three pre-assembled screws on the left side of the bottom panel. Then slide the left side panel into place. Once in place, retighten the pre-assembled screws. Repeat these steps to attach the right side panel. Next, attach the rear panel by loosening the three pre-assembled screws at the bottom of each side panel. After that, slide the rear panel into place, retighten the pre-assembled screws on each panel, and secure the rear panel to the bottom panel using one A screw. Next, attach the cart frame to the front end of your cart using four A screws, two on each side panel. Then mount your two door hinge fixed plates on the front of the cart frame using four B screws, two for each side. Next, attach triangle brackets to all four corners of the front end of your cart. Beginning with the bottom left corner, loosen the four pre-assembled screws, slide the bracket into place, then retighten the screws. Moving diagonally, repeat these steps for the top right corner and the remaining two corners after that. Now we'll assemble your grill's doors. To do so, align the door handle with the holes on the front of the door. Then secure the handle in place by installing two E-screws from the opposite side of the door. Then reinsert each screw from behind the door to mount the handle. Repeat these steps to assemble the second door. Once your doors are assembled, angle the left door down into the cart, bottom first, making sure to insert the pin into the bottom slot. Then press down the pin mechanism on top to click the door in place. Once the left door is installed, repeat this step for the right door. With your cart in place, now it's time to affix the firebox assembly on top. This step requires two people. After unscrewing the cap of your grill's pulse igniter module, carefully lift the firebox assembly and place it on top of the cart, making sure the pulse igniter module stays on the inside of the cart while the LP regulator remains on the outside. Once in place, secure the firebox assembly with four A screws, two on each side of the firebox. Then with your pulse igniter module in place, insert a AA battery into the slot, negative end first, and replace the nut and cap. Next, we'll mount your grill's left side shelf. 
Start by loosening the two pre-assembled screws on the left side of your grill. Then slide the side shelf into place, like so. After that, re-tighten the pre-assembled screws and install one A screw on the bottom right side of the control panel. Once in place, secure the shelf with three A screws and three C washers from the inside of the firebox. Moving over to the right side of the grill, we'll now mount the searing side burner bowl assembly. Just like before, start by loosening the two pre-assembled screws on the right side of your grill. Then slide the searing side burner bowl assembly into place, re-tighten the pre-assembled screws, and install one A screw on the bottom left side of the control panel. Once in place, secure the searing side burner bowl assembly with three more A screws and C washers from the inside of the firebox. Next, open the lid and remove the two pre-assembled screws holding the searing side burner in place. Then carefully remove the sear burner from its assembly, like so. After that, loosen the pre-assembled screws on the searing side burner gas valve. Then carefully and firmly insert the valve through the searing side burner control panel. Once inserted, re-tighten the pre-assembled screws and attach the control knob. Once secure, slide the searing side burner back down into its assembly and over the tip of the main gas valve. And once set, reinstall the two pre-assembled screws you removed from the searing side burner earlier. Next, locate the pre-assembled screw on the inside of the searing side burner bowl assembly, closest to the control panel. Remove the screw, insert the sear burner igniter wire through the vacant hole, like so, then reinstall the screw. Once secure, plug in the wire from underneath the assembly. After that, find your grease tray assembly. To assemble your grease tray, attach the grease tray stopper using two B screws. Then attach the grease tray bracket using two more B screws and two D washers. Once your grease tray is fully assembled, simply slide it into the back of the grill. Then from the front of the grill, insert your grease cup into the grease tray. Next, attach the rotisserie burner heat shield to the back of your firebox with two B screws. Then attach the rotisserie burner igniter brackets using two more B screws apiece. After that, insert the searing side burner grease tray into the back of the searing side burner, like so. Next, put each flame tamer into place at the bottom of the main burner bowl. No screws are necessary to secure the flame tamers. On top of those will be the cooking grids. followed by the warming rack. Then set the searing side burner cooking grid into place. Now we'll install your grill's included rotisserie kit. First, find the rotisserie motor bracket and remove its two pre-assembled screws. Then with your main lid open, mount the bracket onto the left side of the firebox by reinstalling the pre-assembled screws. After that, slide the rotisserie motor onto its bracket sideways, making sure the power cord ends up at the base. Next, insert the pointed end of the spit rod into the rotisserie motor, then slide on and secure the two spit forks, followed by the counterbalance. With your grill nearly assembled, now it's time to attach the liquid propane tank. Set your tank into the grill cart with the nozzle facing the right side panel. Then carefully and firmly connect the gas line to your tank. And finally, tighten the tank bolt to secure your gas tank in place. Your next Grill Deluxe 6 burner is now assembled and ready to go. Now get out there and grill something different.